Today, we're replacing the timing chains on a General Motors 3.6 liter V6 engine. With this engine, there are actually three chains. Two are intermediate and one is the main drive chain. We'll be replacing the entire set with our master kit, part number KTC1391, which is also meant for 3 liter and 3.6 liter GM engines. It includes all timing chain components as well as the cam phasers and VVT solenoids. Notice that the two intermediate drive chains will both have three timing marks. Two of the marks will have 10 timing chain links between them. These fit with the timing marks on the camshafts on the right and left bank. Before you dive in, be sure to grab all necessary tools. First, you'll need to remove the intake and spark plugs in order to ease crankshaft and engine rotation. Then, remove the valve covers and VVT solenoids. Pull the harmonic balancer off and unscrew the front engine cover. Now that you have access to the timing chains, rotate the crankshaft to the Stage 1 timing position with its sprocket timing mark aligned to the Stage 1 timing mark on the oil pump cover. You can verify it's in the correct position by checking that the left bank cam flats are facing up and the right bank flats are at an angle. Install the cam holding tools and then we'll get started. First, remove the timing components, including the right bank secondary camshaft drive tensioner and tensioner guide. The right bank secondary camshaft drive chain guide comes off next, and then the actual chain. Once you've removed all the timing components, move on to the primary camshaft drive. Remove the primary chain tensioner, then the upper chain guide. With those parts out of the way, you will be able to take the crank sprocket and chain off without a lot of effort. At this point, replace the old lower tensioner guide with the new nylon guide as to not interfere with the specific torque and sequence of the oil pump's two-piece housing. Switch to the left bank secondary camshaft drive and follow the same steps as the right bank. Idler sprockets are next. Once you take off both of them, clean all gasket surfaces and inspect all oil passages for debris. Check to make sure that the camshaft retaining tool is fully seated onto the camshafts and locked into place. Then, remove and replace the VVT cam phasers. Install the new phasers in proper order and torque to 43 foot-pounds. While exhaust phasers are interchangeable, the right bank intake phaser will be marked with an R and the left bank phaser will be marked with an L. Next up is the left secondary timing chain. Remember to double check the number of links. Wrap the camshaft drive chain around both VVT cam sprockets and align the marked links of the chain to the L timing marks on the VVT cam sprocket. Install the left timing chain idler sprocket and make sure the recessed hub and the larger sprocket are facing outward and the raised hub and the smaller sprocket are installed towards the block. Then torque the bolt to 43 foot-pounds. Align the marked timing camshaft drive chain link to the alignment access hole in the left camshaft intermediate drive chain idler sprocket. Screw on the left bank tensioner guide, the drive chain guide and the tensioner and tighten all three to 18 foot-pounds. Recheck timing alignment before removing the tensioner retaining pin. Ensure there are 10 chain links between the VVT cam sprocket L marks. If there aren't 10, reposition the chain and then remove the tensioner retaining pin. Now we're ready to install the primary drive system. We will start by installing the right bank intermediate idler. Be sure to torque the bolt to 43 foot-pounds. Align the notch in the crankshaft sprocket with the key in the crankshaft. Then, slide the sprocket on the nose until it contacts the step in the crankshaft. Now it's time to install the primary drive chain by wrapping it around the large sprockets of each camshaft intermediate drive chain idler and the crankshaft sprocket. 
align the marked link with the corresponding dot on the crankshaft sprocket. The left bank intermediate drive chain idler timing mark will align with a marked link on the camshaft drive chain. The right camshaft intermediate drive chain idler can be rotated till you line up the drive chain idler timing mark with the marked link on the camshaft drive chain. Install the upper chain guide and bolts and torque to 18 foot-pounds. Verify placement of the primary camshaft drive chain tensioner gasket tab is correct before moving past this step. Install the primary drive chain tensioner. Then tighten to 18 foot-pounds. Ensure all three timing marks on the sprockets are properly aligned with the primary timing camshaft drive chain marks. Remove the retaining pin from the tensioner and get ready to install the right bank secondary system. You can now remove the left bank holding tool. Wrap the camshaft drive chain around the VVT cam sprockets and idler. Start with aligning the marked chain link to the hole in the right bank idler sprocket. Then, align the similarly marked chain links to the R timing sprockets on the exhaust and intake VVT cam sprockets. Now install the chain guide, then the tensioner guide, and finally the tensioner, and torque them all to 18 foot-pounds. If you count 10 links between the timing camshaft drive chain links for the camshaft position actuator sprocket, placement is correct. After confirming all timing marks align, pull the tensioner pin and remove the remaining right bank camshaft holding tool. Make sure to remove the harmonic balancer bolt. Then replace the front cover following the OE recommended torque sequence. Install your VVT solenoids and tighten to 89 inch pounds. And that's a wrap on this timing chain kit installation. Great job, as this is a difficult engine. 